What's up guys, Chris, VA Travels, and knocking them out, still here in Delaware. And I'm going to visit the Indian River Life Saving Station, part of the US Life Saving Service uh, organization that was created in the 1870s, lasted up until 1915. And it was to rescue shipwrecked sailors out there on the, uh, on the shoals in the Atlantic. So tickets are four dollars. It's pretty much a museum in there to check out. So see what's up. All right, you just watch a little five minute film. I'm checked in, they gave me this brochure and there's a phone number uh, you call that gives you information. Walk in, check this place out. I'm not sure what's going on out here. Okay, just walked inside. And yeah, when you dial that phone number, you punch in the number and it tells you a little about uh, each of these. Uh, these are international signal codes and each of these flags represented a, a different letter of the alphabet. And a library cabinet. And then over here, I guess, is uh, kind of the kitchen. Stove here, looks like a refrigerator. And an old telephone. Uh, there's the station, 1888. The mess hall or the surfmen ate, and the surfmen were the ones who lived here during the winter months, 1870s uh, up until 1915, when the U.S. Life Saving Service was merged with another organization that became the Coast Guard. So yeah, 19, uh, 1915. And okay, so this pulley here, what they would do is if there was a shipwreck close to shore, they would stick an anchor with a rope attached into this cannon. They would shoot it out over top of the ship. It would land in the ocean. The rope would drape across the ship. And then they would connect the rope to one of the masts. And they would essentially zip line back to shore uh, inside one of these. Uh, I know it sounds pretty crazy. It doesn't sound like it would work very often, but apparently it did. And for shipwrecks a little further away from shore, they would hop in a rowboat and go out to uh, to rescue the crew. Uh, some of those signal flags, it looks like. Old life jacket. I believe there's going to be cork in there. tools and there's an old surfman and what they would do every night they would go down to the shore one guy would take a left another guy would take a right and they would cover about four miles just kind of looking out of the ocean looking for for wrecks i know it doesn't sound very exciting but <laughs> old piano back when if you wanted to hear music you had to play it And a writing desk over here. A 
bunch of knots. Bunch of wrecks. And some interesting stuff over here. Some flares, flare handles. Coins, a monkey wrench. A flare, a fire grenade. All right. Check out this back room over here, the pantry. And yeah, a bunch of canned goods. Mm -mm. Some green beans, tomatoes, peaches. Kingbird. Upstairs. No stove down there. Area to wash up. stories about some of the keepers Victor's wallet pretty big trunk A little area to do some work and looks like one of their uniforms yeah. Oh yeah. Look out over the ocean. Hairbrush, sailor's balm. Guys, uniform. Uh, cupola's up there. Uh, I can't go, but yeah, they go up to the cupola and get a better view. The ocean. Oil painting of this guy's dog. Another bathroom back here. Oh yeah, there's the cupola up there. This telescope. Keeping an eye out. Yeah, they really crammed them in here. Roster of surfmen, yeah, 1876 until 1915 it lasted. Another area to wash up. Okay, and you see one of these little stations right there. They would uh, attach the rope to the mast of the ship. Um, all right, I guess that's about it. Yeah, it looks like there's some work going on out there, but I'm gonna try to take a quick walk around.
guys another quick one in the books that was the indian river life-saving station and see ya